Well, Stephen F. Austin, a terrific year. 27 straight wins, 30 on the season, but this is the most important night of the year. Really the street. I mean, talking to Coach Underwood yesterday, and he doesn't even think that his team realizes what they've accomplished. And it's going to be one of those things that down the line, 15, 20 years, they're going to think back on it and think, wow, that was something very special that we accomplished. This will be a 28-game winning streak for the Lumberjacks from Nacogdoches, Texas. He's really great for this program, great for these guys, something that they'll be able to hold on forever and something that they can hopefully build upon once they get into the tournament. Stephen L. Austin is headed to the NCAA tournament, a 28-game winning streak. The 31st win of the year. The Lumberjacks are your Southland Conference champion. A dangerous team in March. Make sure that they cut down the nets in Katy and head to the NCAA tournament. The first one to go 18 and 0. Only the second Southland Conference team to ever win 29 games in a season and the first to ever do it in the regular season. So we can't uh, express how excited we are. What a great team. Want to salute the whole Lumberjack family. The Stephen F. Austin Lumberjacks, Southland Conference champions in 2013-14. Stephen F. Austin Lumberjacks, uh, they get Tons of offensive rebounds, even though they're not tall, they're always in good position. They get bushels of turnovers, they shoot a lot of threes, they have a classic giant killing combination. They're up against a really tough giant in VCU, but they have a classic killer profile. That uh, might just uh, have the foot that the glass slipper fits uh, is Stephen F. Austin from Nacogdoches, Texas. They're coached by former South Carolina assistant Brad Underwood. 31-2 overall on the year, 18-0 as they made their run perfect through the Southland Conference. They take on uh, number five seed VCU Friday night, 727 on True TV. And the other team I've been talking about them for quite some time now, Dan. In fact, I've been ranking them in my AP Top 25 is Stephen F. Austin. They play in the Southland Conference. They're one of these mid-major teams that has a bunch of older guys, not a lot of size up front but they put on an absolute offensive and defensive clinic because they really know how to play. They have not lost since November the 23rd. And the 2014 NCAA tournament rolls on from San Diego in the South region. A 12-5 matchup. Stephen F. Austin, winners of 28 in a row against the Rams of ECU. Walk up down the lane, kick it right side, a three ball for him, and he got it! And he'll shoot to tie the ball game! Oh my goodness! The left-hander from Pickens, Mississippi. Two dribbles, three dribbles, spin in his hand. Shot is up, got it, tie the ball game! Puts it up at the buzzer, over the basket, and we're going to overtime! seconds left in OT. BCU with the ball down two. Weber drives. Kick out Lewis for three. Won't go down. Rebound to Stephen F. Austin. And that will do it. Ball game. Stephen F. Austin with its first ever NCAA tournament win. The Lumberjacks, the 12th seed. They come back and upset the 5th seed. Virginia Commonwealth in the winning streak lives at 29, and Stephen F. Austin will advance to the next round. March Madness indeed. Can't say how proud. 
I, I, it's, un, it's unbelievable the resiliency that you guys have shown. I cannot say how proud I am. Okay? You guys deserve all the attention that's coming your way. You deserve to fight in the spotlight. Hey, in a bad six, seven, eight minutes, but your never quit attitude <laughs> is something that's unbelievable. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Work. Hey, and that's why they call it March Madness. And guess what? This moved into the final 32 teams in the country. Dream big, brother.